The water crisis in Germantown stretches on for the sixth day. Tonight, we meet a mom struggling to keep her baby healthy and safe. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Darcy Thomas. I'm Daryl Green. Clean water, it's a necessity. That's a fact. But for the mother of a newborn, it's absolutely critical to raising a healthy child. Fox 13, your money investigator, Kate Beery, is live in Germantown right now. Kate, you saw yourself. What a challenge this is for this mom today. That's absolutely right, Darcy. We are here live at Forest Hill Elementary, and you can see car after car trickling in off of Forest Hill Irene because families have lost access to this critical resource of water. Now, this has added stress, anxiety, and inconvenience to tens of thousands of lives. In little Charlie's 11th week of life, the newborn lost access to clean water in her home. Honestly, when I first found out, I thought, how could that be possible? Motherhood is challenging enough, but Casey Phillips didn't plan for this. I'm scared about hygiene. You know, I want to make sure that she stays healthy, and it's hard to do when there's not readily available hand washing. From washing her daughter's bottles. You multiply that by eight times a day. To cleaning Charlie, to hydrating herself, the family says they have spent hundreds of dollars on water this week alone. How sustainable is this? It's not. Uh, it's It really shouldn't have even <laughs> been able to go. I mean, I can't really fathom how much longer all of these residents can can survive this. Every day, all three members of the Phillips household must visit a friend's house to bathe. She has her own life and it puts a strain on our relationship because I'm busy, she's busy. Um, we don't always have time to coordinate like that and it's very hard to transport a baby. They're grateful to have resources that so many don't. But Phillips said her trust in the city's utilities is broken and it won't be repaired until long after the crisis is over. So if that means we're going to continue to use bottled water for the foreseeable future, that's what we'll have to do. As you can imagine, so many of these thousands of people say they'll be sticking with bottled water long after they get the all clear. And we still don't know when that all clear will actually come. Daryl. You know, Kate, we see all of the personal stories that this crisis is causing. Uh, let's talk for a moment about businesses, because again, businesses that reply on or rely on water as well. What's their situation? What does their timeline look like? Yeah, Daryl, it's difficult to say. There is something called business interruption insurance that could cover you for lost income during a shutdown, and it can even help and pay the wages of some of your employees during that shutdown. And it's usually used if there is lost income for direct damage. We're talking fire damage or other damage to your building. Not all policies will cover you for a water outage, but you can always call your agent and ask if you're not sure. That's Fox 13's Kate Beery live in Germantown tonight. Thank you, Kate.